Hello, my name is Miguel. I'm one of the environmental educators at the Urban Ecology Center. And I wanna show you a nocturnal insect. You know, nocturnal, when they come out at night to look for food. Here you can see a really cool moth. This is called the Rothschilda cinta, one of the Saturnae type of moth. It's one of the biggest ones found in America. And in Spanish, it is called the Polilla de los Cuatro Espejos, Moth of the Four Mirrors, because as you can see, the top of the wings, it's got four see-through circles that made it look like it's got mirrors. Just like butterflies, moths, also do that big change, the metamorphosis. You know, this moth will lay some eggs, some little caterpillars will hatch out out of those eggs, and then they will eat some leaves and more leaves and more leaves until they will make a cocoon. Bear in mind that butterflies make a chrysalis. On the contrary, moths, such as this Rothschild cinta, make cocoons, which are kind of silky. And out of those cocoons, a new moth will stretch its wings to continue the cycle. Have you ever wondered why moths and so many other nocturnal insects get attracted to lamps, to light? The thing is that moths travel by the light of the moon and the stars. This is called transverse orientation. The problem is that about 150 years ago, electric light was invented and all these lamps became little moons that made all these insects very disoriented. Moths play a vital role in pollination and needless to say, them, their eggs and caterpillars are food to a wide variety of wildlife. So next time you see a moth, give them a break. Well, that's all folks. I hope you enjoyed this short video and please keep on exploring. Bye-bye.